What's up, everybody? It's your screen trip here. This will be the Hockey Edge Room back here again with another episode of the Smart Sports here in the new place here, my new apartment, which the investor invested in. Uh, so, uh, follow me on Instagram at the Sweet and the same for the Sweet. Follow me on Twitter at the Sweet. Now, everybody, also follow me on TikTok and Sweet. Do a couple of TikToks on there. So, uh, today's episode will be actually what's coming up. We will have um, that on my man and second job vlogs there. So come up on this episode here of Wrestling Wire Sports. We will be doing uh, wrestling. We'll be talking about hockey, you know, football and basketball. Um, so we'll be talking about both of those, that uh, right now. And let's get into the episode right now. And now we're in the episode of Wrestling Wire Sports here. Uh, we're gonna be talking about like four things. Uh, maybe five in there. But first, let's talk about uh, CLC basketball. Uh, as of this taping, uh, I will be uploading it on Saturday. So there'll be two games. There was one game as of this upload last night. Um, I hope they win. They have two games. They've been 72. They might go 10 and two as of tonight. No, nine and two if that happens. Uh, but they'll be playing Minnesota State. Was it Minnesota State? No. No. They'll be playing Dogobic and St. Cloud Te Tech in basketball. In other basketball, we have the NBA. NBA has been lit. They've been doing awesome. Uh, the Timberwolves have been doing bad. But, you know, other teams in Minnesota have been doing great. So, now let's talk about football. Uh, college football it is... Almost to the ending. Uh, the Gophers did really great this year. They had an eight and four record. They made it to a bowl game. They're facing West Virginia against on December 28th. That's right after Christmas. A little bit closer to that. And it'll be on ESPN as well. And then uh, other, actually we're done with college football. We're gonna be talking about uh, NFL football. Vikings are playing. As of the statement, they're playing tonight, but they play Thursday night. Uh, so they play at the Steelers. If they lose, they're not in the playoffs. If they win, then they'll have a more percent chance of making it to the playoffs. Uh, now, let's talk about some hockey. Which we'll be talking Yeah, we'll talk about hockey. Hockey, let's talk about college hockey. Huskies have not been doing great. They've been 10-6 and six this year. Uh, they played tonight as of this taping. Uh, they probably played Friday night also, but they will have more games going on. Um, number one ranked team right now is Minnesota State. They've been really great this year in their games. And then what else? Now let's talk about NHL. Uh, the Minnesota Wild are ranked number one still in their division, their central division. They were winning six in a row as of this taping. Um, they beat the Edmonton uh, Oilers in a really good score, four to two. And now they'll probably play as of this taping, maybe tonight. Yeah, they'll play tonight as of this taping, and they'll probably make it. And they'll definitely make it to the playoffs um, by the end of the year. But now let's talk about wrestling. You know. NXT TakeOver, actually was NXT War Games. It was lit that night. That was an awesome show. They had a lot of matches. Uh, one of the matches was the main event. That was uh, when it was Black Team Black and Gold versus 2.0. 2.0 won that matchup. That was a really great matchup. The first matchup was uh, Team Bandy versus Team Real Gonzalez. The winner was uh, Team Rio Gonzalez, who pinned was Core Jade. That was a great matchup. And they had a lot of great matches at uh, NXT, NXT War Games. I hope they do another one like that because it'll be like ECW. Because I think 2.0 is probably going to bring like ECW vibes for me. It's like NXT 2.0, NXT. Because NXT was like trying to be like ECW and all the other future. You know farm farm things you know their own developmental because NXT 2.0 they're trying to build up the future you know 
AEW has their own shows that build up their rosters, which is Dark and Elevation. And then, actually, no, it's Elevation. Dark is just like a regular show, like, Dark is like, like, uh, main event. And then, Elevation, it's like NXT. So now I got it. And then Rampage is like SmackDown, and then Dynamite is like Raw. So now I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, what a long episode of this in Mars Sports. It was a really great episode. Um, everything was really great. I got one more thing, uh, but I'll talk about in my app game show. Or should I talk about it right now? I will talk about it right now because it's not in sports life. All right. Announcement. This Wednesday. I'll be watching Dynamite, but I'll be also watching Breaking Habits, which is a short film that my college uh, made and my class made. Uh, it's a really great movie. Uh, it's at 7 p.m. on Wednesday night on the CLC Facebook and what is it? Facebook and YouTube on the CLC videography page. So if you guys want to watch it, it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be awesome. So. Let's get to the end of this episode of Smart Sports. That'll be for today. It was an awesome episode of Smart Sports. It was actually awesome. It was a long episode. And I made it on time. And yeah. So, talking about wrestling, hockey, football, basketball. It's been lit. And then we had that thing about talking about breaking habits. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go to the split and it's time to split fun through the split. Now, everybody, also fun with the split. Can we have two cups on there? So, please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the Swimsuck Forum. Yeah, that's true. And if you're not done with that, we got tours for you. Hey, buddy.